And we're in Lower Manhattan. This is Meat Packing District. We're going to walk toward High Line, then walk south toward the newly opened first ever Manhattan Beach at Cancerwort Peninsula. And from there, we're going to walk further south toward uh, the Battery Park. This is our plan for tonight. Welcome, everyone. For Thank you for your time and let's enjoy the walk together. Ambrose, hey, good afternoon, good evening. So we are on uh, 14th Street and here we're going to walk toward High Line. This is Meatpacking District. This is West 14th Street and 9th Avenue. Not tons of people, but pretty, pretty busy. This is uh, Apple Store right here. Apple Store is busy. Welcome everyone. So we're walking toward High Line. From there we will walk toward the end of the southern point of uh, the High Line. We'll uh, walk downstairs across the street. And we want to see what uh, this uh, brand spanking new first ever in New York City Beach looks like. Even though no swimming allowed so I'm curious what we're going to find out right there today is probably the last warm day in October for sure the temperature is going to start dropping tomorrow and then the whole month almost it will be like in the 50s and 60s and right now it's 75 it's a little windy but it's pleasant Ambrose just started one second after someone else handed. Great timing. Uh, that's a coincidence, but I guess great coincidence. Thank you for noticing. Sebastian, hello, hello. We're crossing Washington Street. This is Ganson Ward Market, historic district according to the street. Signs, but technically everybody calls it meatpacking district as it used to be all about meatpacking businesses and now it has been redone rebranded and only one business out of hundreds of them left somewhere here everything else is restaurants showrooms stores starbucks reserve chelsea market and everything else in between even Highline used to be the freight train, railroad, and uh, miraculously, this particular stretch of it was about to be demolished, but was preserved somehow and slowly but surely turned into this elevated stretch that is a park in a way, but very unusual and very popular. Hudson River is uh, down there, not too far from here, but first we're going to use High Line to head south toward Whitney Museum, and from there we're going to cross 10th Avenue, which is kind of like a highway, sort of, right here on the west side, and uh, a walk toward the Ganson Ward Peninsula. A lot of people on High Line. weird temperature it's 75 but it feels a little less it's still sunny and when it's out there in the sun it's kind of warm but it's windy at the same time so it's kind of like borderline jacket no jacket they're on high line we're not going to walk all the way to the north even though we know that this stretch will end somewhere there around Hudson Yards we will walk in the opposite direction today. Let's see. So City Island is there. And the uh, Gansaward Peninsula should be down there somewhere. Across from Whitney Museum, which is a little bit more south. So let's go. You see Hudson River and 
New Jersey on the other side of the river. Edelson, hola. Michael S., good afternoon. Love this time of the year. Suhail, hi Suhail. Hi everyone, don't be shy. If you want to say hi in the chat, by all means. Ah, oh, that's, that's about us. New York Adventures forever. Ambrose, no jacket, but keep moving. Yep, better keep moving. And now when the sun is gonna set slowly but surely, it's gonna feel much colder. Or just colder for now. These are comfortable seats. And uh, you sunbathing as you sit there. And this is the 14 West 14th Street view from the elevation of the High Line. Pretty nice view. There's tours. Let's stand kind of like above the middle of the street so we can see even better perspective. That's 14th Street. One of the busiest cross street in uh, New York City. 14th, 23rd, 34th, 42nd, 57. 72nd, 96, 110th, 125th, those are busier than others. This is West 14th Street. Michael S., I'm ready for hot cocoa, Macy's Thanksgiving parade, and Santa. Oh, that's going to happen sooner rather than later. it wild. Discover the wild side of the High Line. Native plants. I was gonna say, I don't think I want to discover the wild life, the wild side of the High Line. And of course, a donate today. Jacqueline, hey, hey. Good afternoon. Look at that. They're together. They say, what's up, YouTube? They know it's YouTube. Why? I think they know why, because the phone is... Uh, Oriented horizontally. If it was vertical, that would probably be Instagram stream. So they know they know this stuff. A city island right there, also an artificial island that opened recently, maybe last year, maybe two years ago. Time flies, but very recently. Okay, okay. Heading south, High Line is a unique architectural project, really. And the buildings right outside of High Line helps this whole thing look totally amazing. Meatpacking district is right there, down there to our left. This one is Samsung showroom, for instance. I guess it's a showroom and a store. Right here. May 2021. Thank you so much, Ambrose. Yeah, time time really does fly. Daryl Janik, good evening from Chicago and hey all and family. Oh, is that a Pikachu? It is a it is a Pikachu sculpture right there. I would say it's a Pikachu. Well, it doesn't look like Pikachu, shaped like a Pikachu. It does shape like Pikachu, so it must be a Pikachu. It's just we're not, uh, there's no staircase down there, so we cannot 
make sure hundred percent, but it looks pretty pretty much so. We are looking down there is uh, at Little West 12th Street. Interesting name, but it is an official name of this street, Little West 12th. Also, meat packing district. And since we're here, elevated view of uh, the surrounding area would be right in front of us right here. What's the elevation of Highline? Let me guess. About 60 feet, maybe? 50, 60 feet? About 20 meters, maybe? 25, 20? So it's up to, I would say, 60, 60, 60, 70 feet. Oh, so, birches, so those, uh, what's saved from those railroad trucks that were here, partially preserved, and it's kind of symbolic that now the trees are there where the railroad used to be. <laughs> hey, who you are? Hello everyone, you have a nice day today, yes, thank you. RJ, hola. This is the Whitney Museum and the beginning of Highline, it's southernmost point. Whitney Museum is pretty unique architecturally too, it has a uh, Kind of like observation areas outside of the building like right there all the way on top there's a guy walking back and forth i think three three floors three top three floors have exits to that observation area and uh, they have sometimes they have art installations there as well like sculptures of sorts and uh, that's hudson river right over there we're going to walk downstairs and uh, make a la make a ride across the highway across the 10th avenue and uh, walk toward that first ever new york city's beach that opened what two days ago no swimming allowed sunbathing only So if you look up online, the directions will say that it's located across from uh, the Whitney Museum. So this is Whitney Museum. Let's cross over there and uh, explore a little bit. This is the entrance to the Whitney Museum. You know, they're installing something here, probably. Roxanne, Roxanne Williams, hi, good afternoon. Just tune in. Hey, Roxanne, welcome. This is just flowers. Plants, but I guess the focus here is not on plants, but on the pots. As far as I can judge. We streamed from this museum once, walked inside and walked throughout the whole museum, kind of, sort of, semi-officially, but that was accomplished. So if you want to see what Whitney Museum looks like, you can search our channel by words Whitney or Whitney Museum. You'll see it and enjoy. It's hot out here in the sun. Now we need to find the way to cross. 
see it. It's pretty colorful here. Gazen Ward, Gansen Ward Landing, Midpacking, New Public Plaza. Maybe it's new, maybe it's too new. There was to be a crossover here, crosswalk, not anymore, so let's see. So they just opened this area and they would anticipate people, you know, coming here. And uh, they basically would end up where we end up and now we have to look for a safe way to cross. Kind of a bummer. It's definitely uh, either way, if we walk, I guess, a few blocks up there, we will be able to cross. And for a change, let's cross in opposite direction, walk in the opposite direction, see if we can find a crosswalk. As I see a uh, traffic light right there, so hopefully. Maybe they move the traffic light. Yes, it's over there. Okay. Hey, hey, Joyce. Good evening, good afternoon. So we are about to cross this 10th Avenue, which is kind of like West Side Highway, and uh, see what that first ever New York City's beach looks like. It should be directly across from where we are. Crossing the highway. See World Trade Center in the background there as we're looking south. And north. Hi and why? And of course, the bicycles. Betcha is not gonna even slow down. We'll try to slow down. This one, happy faces, look happy faces. Happy faces until they bump into something. Then the face is gonna change a little bit. It's just fun sometimes to stand here and to watch how the humans on bicycles sometimes operate. Some of them are very civilized and uh, like these guys, I think it's a family on city bikes. They clearly enjoying the city but they are probably not originally New Yorkers yes they are they they in group so they know better but the native New Yorkers they just you know so let's see they like uh, it's like a pilot they knows how to take off and fly the airplane but doesn't know how to land the airplane sometimes they don't know how to slow down ambrose whitney museum thank you so much thank you so much ambrose for the link all right so how cute how how much it resembles the ocean. See the waves? That's nice. I think this is uh, partially here, partially there. So, water, amazing. Rocks, great. Kids love it. Those two are playing. Where is supervision? We don't know. Beautiful sun reflecting and on the water, this is Hudson River, by the way, across the river is the state of New Jersey. Hi, Ambrose, somewhere over there. In Jersey City, Hoboken, and then northbound, right there. This is nice, not a nice day. No protection from sun, you, you have to have your own protection. Sunscreen or umbrellas, whatever you feel like it. 
a lot of benches. Nice view, it's very bright. You need sunglasses or a hat. If you can look at water right now, it's very bright if you don't look through the camera. Oh, sand, look! This is really, 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 really cool. Adios. Tadus. So this is the artificial beach, of course, but 25 years of planning and building and making this happen is finally over and this is not huge, but plenty of space. Oh, it's called Sand Bluff. So let's take a slow motion look from this angle. We see a World Trade Center, of course, down there. So we know south is in that direction. The Hudson River ends. The first ever New York City's beach. No swimming allowed, even though there is access to water pretty, pretty easily. But it says danger, and it says danger in uh, three languages, I think. Let me see. But if you want to walk on uh, on sand, so far the sand is brand new too. We'll see how long it will last before the, you know it, it starts being contaminated with all kinds of junk. So it says danger, peligro, and in Chinese as well, dangerous currents. Rocks and slippery, no swimming, no fishing, motorized boats prohibited. Wet weather combined sewer discharge area. Wet weather combined sewer discharge area. Great. Full Armando, impressive. Ambrose, hope they clean out the pigeon stuff. Yeah, pigeon stuff would be the easiest one. And why? I can't believe they made a beach in Manhattan. Oh, uh, if you if you point the camera at a certain angle, you would never know it's not the ocean waves because um, I guess the shape of the whole peninsula makes it easier for the waves to originate, sort of, kind of. I don't think they have a machine down there that does it. That would be insane. It's just natural, but it's pretty awesome. Let's go a little bit closer. So this is how... A little bit closer you can get, of course, you have to be walking carefully. And uh, here we are. Julio Armando Muniz Canton and hi Julio Armando again. Hey Sally. What should I say? Uh, it is a romantic place in a way if someone wants to come here with significant other and uh, spend some time at sunset, for example. That would be awesome on a nice bright sunny day like today. There's a clear view and uh, the sunset will be uh, you know, just amazing right here. Let's take a look at the waves a little bit. No, no one is shooting. That's the car, just the car. Sounds funny though. Let's see what else is here. So, sand. Real, very, very fine sand like refined I would say filtered Sell so I went grocery shopping at key food supermarket yesterday I'm going again tomorrow morning 
Mr. Lingo, great view. Hi, Mr. Lingo. Some people actually sunbathing like it's a beach, even though it's really um, probably the last sunny, not even sunny, but the last warm day probably in October. So it is important to catch the weather. Someone is doing some work on the computer. I'm sure they have Wi-Fi if needed as well, even though it's never recommended to use public Wi-Fi. It's a great view of uh, Lower Manhattan from here as well. Udo, can you swim? Sort of, but kind of. Not really, a little bit, not professionally. Beautiful view, that's the World Trade Center. The Freedom Tower. Another fantastic point to see the World Trade Center from afar. And of course, the whole uh, stretch along the river will take you to Battery Park. We probably will do that. But right now, we're still here and we're still showing you the beach. Uh, that's called Kansanwood Peninsula. And if we turn 180 degrees, we see Hudson Yards with its observation deck right here. Nice. It's pretty decent area. I mean, it's not all covered by sand, but uh, it's not huge. But for for the island of Manhattan, for this particular area, it is pretty clever to design the beach like this. Even though not swimming a lot, but I don't know who would want to swim in this water. So, anyways, let's take a look at it at from a different angle. So we came from there, and this is this whole stretch from. 10th Avenue all the way up to here is the sand and for dinner tonight I'm having chicken tenders and fries yum Sally don't forget your likes the more likes the more people will find our channel now look here this is clearly some sort of a construction that I would assume eventually we'll have some sort of a cover, so some sort of roof sort of thing. Will it be used for a pier, for a marina of sorts, perhaps? Maybe, maybe they will make some sort of a ferry stop around here, but no, probably not with this. With this, that would defeat the purpose. No, it's not gonna happen. So, interesting. This, this whole construction is interesting. It doesn't look like it's something that was left over from the past historical periods it looks pretty brand new so definitely has some purpose one here and one i think on the other side right there what is it for we yet to be discovered the statue of liberty and New York and New Jersey, New York on left, New Jersey on right, and beautiful reflection of the sun. Let's zoom out a little bit. There you go. So the sun and its reflection. A lot of people here for the first time. And everyone is taking pictures. A lot of benches. It's pretty comfy. We're still in, but we have a lot of warm temperatures, but no beach nearby.
this is not it for but for the public access this is pretty much it rhododendron I still hear the water sounds hi rhododendron more tables more sitting areas pretty decent sturdy tables more kind of lone type of thing so you can sit on the grass if you want not necessarily on the sand whichever you prefer there's also a, a field but it has nothing to do with this uh, Gazenward Peninsula I think even though it's a part of Gazenward Peninsula I think I don't even know uh, geographically what it's called but it looks like a soccer field And right behind the city island, right there. Which is also only a little bit over two years old. So this area is being developed finally, being finally developed into parking space, into parking areas and recreational areas. So definitely, definitely a good idea just especially those who come here with children little children small children small children little children small children or little children little children common mistake people don't know exactly how to say it. they say it both ways so yep that's that would be very important to make sure that you keep an eye on your child Awesome. And let's take a look at the sand again a little bit. Julio, thanks so much. Welcome. Outstanding views, Al. You're welcome, Julio. Glad you're enjoying it. A lot of cameras, a lot of picture taken. Gazon Ward to Ganson Ward Peninsula Sand Bluff. Interesting. Let's walk. Let's head south and walk toward the battery or the battery park city area. Welcome to Hudson River Park. We are in Hudson River Park at Ganson Ward Street. That's why they call it Ganson Ward Peninsula because that street right there is Ganson Ward Street. Julio, always great live to channel. Thank you, thank you, man. You're welcome, Julio. Thank you so much. Photos from around New York. Good to see you. There is also a beach on the east side of Manhattan near the Brooklyn Bridge. East side of Manhattan, near the Brooklyn Bridge. Why is then this one is positioned as the first, first, the first beach in New York City? Ambrose have to wear clothes again starting tomorrow. Yeah, that that's sad part. That's annoying. I hate this particular part when it gets colder. photos it's kind of like a small sandbar but it is there all right we're heading south and the world trade center is in front of us Local time in New York is 5.07. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, you know, I think, like, when you go. Good, good, good. Another piece of recreational area here in New York City. 
that's a pretty awesome playground with fountains and all kinds of activities, nice. Facilities, so if you need to go, you don't have to look all over the place. Good to know. So look at there are really beautiful ladies over there, but the views are better. Thank you. It's a little bit of uh, everything for everyone. Perfect. This area is perfect for jogging, for running, for exercising, for walking. And for enjoying the views and for clear air. New 99, good afternoon. Thank you for this awesome calming walk. I love the sunshine and the temperature. Welcome New 99, always good to see you. Migdalia Baez, good afternoon. I'm enjoying the live. Thank you, you're welcome. Yeah, so we'll be looking back kind of like this occasionally and enjoy the sun, reflection of it and just a view. why are there so many runners because people love to exercise and stay in good shape Ambrose Godzilla so we're heading south we're walking along the Hudson River and uh, heading toward Battery Park City. Um, and the battery, the, that is the, actually the park. There's also a few other parks along the way. The same idea, same land, different, different names here and there. Geraldo Palmeira, filho, hi from Brazil. Boa tarde. It's very bright. If you look at the water now without the camera, you would not be able to see it. It is very, very bright. Hola Armando, Battery Park. I got great memory over there. Yes, we're walking toward Battery Park. It's a walk. It's not horrible, but it's a pretty long walk. Austin City Limits, hey, hey. So, Linga, I've tried the training, but this is for me for now. Yeah, if you find the jogging, the running too much, you can walk. Always have to be careful, there is always someone along the way that is not on the same page with you. Hey, 
Well, you know what this is? I think uh, this is uh, for the Jewish holiday. That is, uh, yeah, it's Habat West Village wishing you a happy Sukkot. Yep, that is something that's called Sukkah. It says, come in. Most people just walk in enjoying the weather. Probably live around here somewhere, which is nice. Just a reminder, don't forget your likes. If you like our walks, this walk in particular, hit the like button and this will bring more friends to our chat and more people, more viewers to our channel. And just show how much you like what you see by clicking on the free like button. Interesting artwork. It's like an apple, but a different type of apple. They flying over here. They think it's uh, spring or something or summer. Bumblebees, bees. The internal mechanisms uh, broken. They think it's summertime. It's gonna get colder real soon. We are continuing walking down, heading south toward Battery Park along the Hudson River. Pretty hot out here in the sun, but in the shade, it's much more comfortable. And windy too. Like right now, as soon as you, as soon as you're not directly in the sun, it's windy and it's colder. Oh, it's a bar. Drift in. Outdoor bar. The other side is busy. This side is oh, this side is closed. That's why. Is this another facility? That is a lot of facilities. Wow. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of a map where they are, let's see. So, we're here and we're heading south. Which would be... That way. So it gives a kind of an idea where you are and where the seats, cross streets are as well. So not bad, pretty helpful. Hudson River Park, this is where, what the stretch of the waterfront is called. Photo screen is expected Friday and Saturday. Yeah, unfortunately, so let's enjoy the weather while it lasts today. Okay, Chulo, hey. And 
and we're heading toward World Trade Center, as you can see. Freedom Tower is directly in our view all the time. Hi everyone, welcome to our walk. We're enjoying probably the last warm day of this month. Who knows, maybe this year? We don't know yet. Hopefully not. We started on High Line, walked toward the Canton Ward Peninsula, which is the artificial, they say, first in New York City beach that opened a few days ago explore that and now we are heading south along Hudson along the Hudson River beautiful views of the river and uh, the sun and New Jersey on the opposite side of the river okay sunshine after rain let's see 73 23 Celsius wind low and humidity is Pretty low, good weather. Thanks for the weather. So welcome, welcome. It's a good walk. It's kind of like good exercise. Kathy, well maintained waterfront park. Very nice, clean, and no litter. Yes, pretty clean. Hello, Armando. Spectacular evening. Let's hide from sun a little bit. This is where we came from, right over there. Now it's windy. There will be more portions of this waterfront opening in the future, turning into parks, park areas of some sort. But we have an idea of what it's going to look like because, uh, you know, we we'll see what City Island looks like and now, Cansonwood Peninsula. So. It, uh, it's all good, it's all good. Pier 40. Soon we will be able to see the river again. Right now we have to walk along P40 building. It's P40 at Hudson River Park. Athletic fields as well. Okay. 
A lot of kids, uh, school kids are doing sports around here. Chelsea Piers, Pier 40, you know, all those facilities are pretty busy. So. I have more unobstructed views coming up. We're still in Hudson River Park. Beautiful. A little windy, but beautiful. Well, Uber is more popular. But if you don't have Uber, if you visit in New York, probably taxi. Yeah, or Uber, but Uber is pretty... I'll say Uber is more popular than taxi right now. And cheaper too, oftentimes. Hey, Ori! I want to thank you the most for moderating our charts. Ambrose, NY, Ori, and Noble Sweetness. Thank you so much. Some tennis courts along the way as well. Here are 34 tennis courts. Welcome everyone, welcome 100 people walking with us. Thank you for keeping us company and thank you for enjoying the walk with us as well. So we're getting closer to World Trade Center area. It's another pier right here, so closed right now, but there's quite a few along the way. This one is no trespassing. Oh, something else. This is not a public access. Oh, because it has, uh, I think it has a, um, that's a tunnel facility, that's right. That, at the end of this driveway right there, you know, it has something to do with the tunnel underneath the river. So yes, it is restricted. Spring Street, see, it le it's letting us know where we are. So Spring Street is right here. Across, across uh, West 10th, excuse me, across 10th Avenue. But we're not crossing the avenue, we are heading south. If you rent a bike, if you feel comf comfortable riding a bike, which I would not suggest, then you can ride a bike, but it all depends on what distance you need to cover. I'd say Uber would probably be the easiest way, then maybe taxi and bike. If you feel like you, you're looking for an adventure, then yes, sure.
We are approaching Rockefeller Park, which is at the end of Hudson River Park in front of us right there. Battery Park City is directly across from us, those buildings. New Jersey is on the side of the river and the sun is not setting yet but soon it's 529 so in a little bit over an hour A lot of people jogging. Wow, quite a few. Let's slow down a little bit and take a look at that. Sun setting slowly over the Hudson River, over the over New Jersey. Austin is a real nice place. And there's a helicopter in view. There's quite a few here. Such a beautiful day outside. It's a Linga, wow, gorgeous. And just like that sign over there, I want to thank you for watching. We're not done yet. I just want to take a moment and thank you all for working with us, for watching, for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe with all notifications and, of course, don't forget your likes also if you're in the mood of supporting us with your amazing super charts super stickers or maybe throw ko-fi or venmo the links are there and the clicks are there as well so thank you in advance and thank you those who supported us in the past and will in the future and of course thank you to our channel members supporting us on regular basis every month thank you Beautiful sunset views, and we are approaching Battery Park. How's everybody doing? What's for dinner? 5:30 in New York. 5:33. It's getting there. Football Shane live. Hey, Football Shane, how you doing? <laughs> Nobody fishing? Not around here, but sometimes they do. Oh, 
Now we're getting closer to Wall Street Center and this barely fitting in our frame, but it's gorgeous. And the sky is blue. So we are approaching the end of uh, the Hudson River Park and the beginning of the Rockefeller Park in Battery Park City. Soon, in about five minutes. Mr. Linga, what is your favorite activity? Live streaming on YouTube, of course. What's yours? Oh, very nice area. Football chain. West Side Highway is right next to you. Yes, to the, to the left, right there. Steps away. High from sun and uh, this is city wine yard restaurant and wine garden by city winery beautiful you mind what you want thank you Over 100 people watching us. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for sharing and for subscribing. Pier 26, City Wine Yard. Coming next year, Hudson River Park Science Playground at Pier 26. See, another area is being developed into something cool as the science play whoa look at that uh let me see if i can get a glimpse of it as a part of the science playground at pier 26. is that a dolphin is it a shark look see that it is uh something that will be accessible inside probably for the kids and anyone else this is just the beginning this whole area will be turned into the science playground. How cool. Wow. And what of you? Hi, Julio R. And why? Hey, football chain. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. And that city one yard at Pier 26. What do you mean? My favorite activity is to watch Al and go out outside and play on my Xbox and more. Thank you for sharing. Another playground. Wow, there's a lot of fun activities for children here. And just pretty awesome. They're all different. Nothing is repeating itself. And it's a you can walk over there as well. Wow, this is this is great. Look. You can just stand down there and get splashed. Or you can stand down there and get splashed. Hey Marit. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, if kids live around here, that's the heaven on earth. Football, I just saw Hoboken and Jersey City. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, right across the river. Hoboken and Jersey City, or rather Jersey City and Hoboken. Hey, Kirk. Beautiful views of the Hudson River at sunset. As we're walking from north to south, enjoying the views and heading toward Battery Park, which is right, Battery Park City, which is right in front of us right here. And uh, the World Trade Center here is right there, of course. And that's a pretty sunset. Basketball courts. Nice, nice, nice. Can you show the Statue of Liberty? If I see it again, I will. We saw it, but from the distance. So it looked like a little teeny tiny Statue of Liberty, but should be able to see it also. Sooner rather than later. Show sure, absolutely. That's the beginning or end of the Hudson River Park. Thank you for visiting Hudson River Park at Harrison Street. Do not hang your phone to anyone. Scam alert. Beware of sports and candy donations. Do not hang your phone to anyone. Joyce, how's your day going and why? So you're going well, just finished making spaghetti and garlic bread. Yum! Spaghetti and garlic bread, yum! Italian food. Football chain, can you see the Empire Bay building from where we are? Not exactly, but from different angles, maybe. Well, we see Hudson Yards. Maybe we'll see the top of it at some point. Right there, Hudson Yards. With the observation deck right there. You can probably see it from here. Empire State will keep an eye on it. Five forty three in New York City.
Battery, is this Battery Park? Yes, we just entered Battery Park, absolutely. Battery Park City, or Battery Park. And we're going to continue our walk along the river here in Battery Park. We see the very top of Empire State Building from here. If you want to take a look, right there in the center, see the antenna, that's uh, the top of it. Wow, I'm impressed by myself. Yeah, good, good knowledge of New York City. It's Hoboken, New Jersey, and Jersey City, New Jersey, across the river. Uh, a lot of helicopters. I guess it's heliport somewhere there, and they all go in there. Jen Close, hey Jen. Good evening. saying which is the difference between Hoboken and Jersey City well they kind of like name differently different areas but they're next to each other okay making a left and heading south Statue of Liberty is right there it's pretty far so when we zoom we lose the focus but it's right there Pretty congested here, actually. We are in Battery Park City. Enjoying the slow sunset. It's not the time for sunset yet, but it's getting there. It's 5.47. In an hour, it will be dark. This here is Rockefeller Park. And in front was this ferry terminal. New York Waterway, one of the companies here operating to connect from point A to point B as well as New York City. Ferry, which is NYC Ferry, which is transportation ferry in New York City. And there are others too, there's New York Motor Taxi, there's different companies. Again, thank you, thank you. Great job. You're welcome, you're welcome. Glad you're enjoying it. Jan, pretty walk. Port Newark. I don't think we see it from here. I don't think we will be able to see any of that. 
but we can see World Trade Center. And why, wow, Julius, your, your dinner sounds delicious. That's ferry terminal. Hey Roy, look who's here. Roy, Alan and Y, very nice to see you at my stream yesterday. Anytime, when we get a chance. I speak for myself, but our moderators, hopefully, as well. And why? It was a great sunset yesterday, last night. It's like superb, amazing. So enjoyed it so much. Thank you so much for streaming. I'm glad the network is good there as well. That is fantastic. Sometimes here in New York, you're near the water and your, your network is junk. Of course, Roy, of course. So this is Port Authority Ferry Terminal, Brookfield Place. Uh, in Battery Park City. It's not a super huge terminal, but it does the job. Not a ferry, libertylandingferry.com, not a ferry company, but yellow one. What's else going on here? About the Brookfield Place area. As I remember, the signal around here should be glitchy. So let's see if we will experience a little bit of a blurry transmission. Oh, here's some music. Let's just see what happens with the network. Can't promise you a good network there. Awesome, we might as well stay, but let's uh, let's move to the other side of the viewing area. Looking for a signal. See, I told you it's going to be glitchy.
Awesome, let us know if you want to hear a little bit more of this real quick. If yes, we'll stay a little bit. If no, we will not. Thank you, everybody. That was a, a waltz in Thank you, Sarazza Audi. Prima Virili, as I'm sure you could guess, from Italy. And now we're going to play a song, uh, a number by one of the great American composers, a true treasure of this country, Scott Joplin. This is Scott Joplin's new rag. It's funny, they never fixed this network connection around here. It was always glitchy and it was glitchy two years ago, glitchy a year ago, still glitchy. Let us know if you can see and hear me. We apologize for the buffering audio. Thank you so much. Let us let everybody know if we can be seen or heard. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how many people are outside here eating, drinking, dining, and whining? See you in here. Thank you, Marit. Thank you. This is to the Brookfield Place, World Trade Center again. Beautiful day, beautiful night, beautiful sunset. Horrible network. Atrocious network. Glitchy network. Bad network. Rhododendron, thank you. Yeah, I'm walking away from uh, that area, so it should be a little bit better now. Let's take a look at the sunset. Back and forth. Okay, should be better now. All right, we're inside of Brooklyn Place Mall. It's nice and air-conditioned here. Hi everyone, sorry about the network.
Look at the palm trees. I don't even know if they're real or they're not. No one can tell. They have a lot of stuff going on in here. Wednesday, Saturday, November. But not today, nothing today. It's a nice view up there. Hi, Pineapple Water. Just got here. Good evening, Pineapple Water. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's take the escalator to the second floor. is where a lot of people have lunch those who work here the big companies are located here in this area as well so it's a pretty big food court good stuff Naya and uh, so forth and so on the whole bunch This here is called Hudson Eats. Yeah, the natural current here is junky. Okay. So here we are in uh, inside of the Brookville place and uh, we walk here, we walk here, we walk pretty good distance really good distance from uh, the Ganson Ward Peninsula which is the first New York City's beach that opened two days ago we walked all the way to the Brookville place along Hudson River I hope you enjoyed the views it's real, yeah, I hope these palm trees are real And my buffering every now and then. Let's see if we can um, walk downstairs and walk through the tunnel, maybe. But maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a very shiny marble staircase. A lot of people around here. It's a beautiful evening. So now we're downstairs, okay. Let's let's see if the signal will be better here because I don't feel like going in tunnel. So let's go outside and walk outside toward the Oculus. The weather is too good to spend it down there in the tunnel. If anyone supported us today through Ko-Fi or Venmo, we'll uh, thank that those people as soon as we can. Thank you so much in advance. And as we always say, uh, you're more than welcome to support us 
through Super Chats, Super Stickers, Memberships, Ko-Fi's and Venmo's. Thank you so much. We are back outside. And we are across the street from the Freedom Tower, World Trade Center. Let's look up. Jen, have a great night, Al, and everybody. Thank you so much. You too. We will see you sooner rather than later. We'll walk a little bit more, I think. This is the Freedom Tower of the World Trade Center. And that's the Oculus right there across the street. Across the area, across the memorial. This is 9 11 Memorial area in front of us. We're going to walk by, but we're not going to go into the memorial. But we definitely will mention that. Across the street, uh, there is a 9 11 Memorial and Museum. And this is where the towers used to stand. And now the new World Trade Center and the Oculus and the newly opened uh, Perlman. But I may be wrong with the name, but they just opened the yet another venue right there. So we're going to go take a look at it. Uh, probably I'm probably wrong with the with the name of it, but I will double check. This is West Street, which is West Side Highway. Traffic is pretty intense. Look how many people here! Wow. Ah, the real highway traffic. No, we're not done yet. I thought about it, but um, for a moment. But then, you know what? Not yet. I'm still, still running. So this is West Street and uh, we are right outside World Trade Center. If we look up from here, we would not even be able to see the whole height, but just to show you what we can see from this corner, from this angle. Nine Eleven Memorial is right there to our right. And this is the entrance to the Freedom Tower, to the World Trade Center. One World Trade Center. Selena, thanks for the views. You're welcome. Yeah, this is a brand new venue that opened, I think, in the middle of September, just a few weeks ago. That's Perlman Performing Arts Center. Perlman Performing Arts Center. And last time we were here, there were a few days before the opening. So right now, it's open. The outdoor space is intended for the safe enjoyment of all. It makes sense. This is one of the entrances that's for those who cannot walk upstairs. Uh, is there an escalator? Doesn't look like. Yeah, that's the entrance. 
and there's the Oculus. Well, Armando, is there a way to go? Ori never forget, never forget. Beautiful from this angle, you can really see it. It is a dove about to take a flight. One of the entrances. This one is elevated to the one train WTC Water Set up Cortland subway station. This is World Trade Center area. And sun is setting, so it's a beautiful colors. Wow. If you look up, we see Hutton Yards, right there. So we know north is kind of that way. This is Vesey Street. And this is awkward from different angles. Look how gorgeous that is. Read beautiful. Karina, hi Karina, good to see you. Audi, what a sunset. What a swell. Can we get one more like to 100 total? Yes, don't forget your likes. Thank you so much. angles of the World Trade Center. And reflections of the other buildings on it, look. That's this one right here. And it's reflection on World Trade Center. World Trade Center. What is? I refresh the page, and it is above a hundred. Thank you, thank you. It's a nice artwork here. Why wow, it's a installation and a fountain. Some, at some point there was another Barnes & Noble around here. I don't even know if it's still in operation or not.
dedicated to those who survived September 11, 2001. Wow, that star is beautiful. This is a dedication to those who survived September 11, 2001. BNCC, Borough Manhattan Community College. Green Street, beautiful buildings here. And this is West Broadway. Arzi Brachman, that's a beautiful Frank Stella sculpture fountain. It is absolutely beautiful. Hi, Arzi. Barclay Street. We're on West Broadway, we're crossing Barclay Street. It's walking downtown a little bit. Oh, that's the art center, Shirley Fitterman Art Center, entrance at 81st, 81 Barclay Street. See, there's a gallery here. There's so many galleries in New York. <laughs> Silver Ah, boa noite. Tribeca, Tribeca area of Manhattan. Less people outside, but still quite a few. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to cross Murray Street on West Broadway. Another steamy. I don't ever know how to call it this time, but a lot of steam are coming out of the ground again. That's a pretty common sighting here in New York. You hear how pressured the steam is. Yeah, the pipes that delivering the heat and uh, hot water to the buildings. Oftentimes produce too much heat. 
And this it has to be let go before it bursts into some pothole explosion or something. So this this usually happens throughout the city, but it doesn't matter what time of the year. But when it happens during the winter months. This looks pretty weird because it's cold, maybe snow everywhere, and in the middle of this snow field, there's a huge tower of smoke or steam. This one is an interesting parking outdoor version. Look at that. Alma. Hi, Alma. Hi, beautiful people. Good night from Spain. Buenas noches. Oh, Speedy Park. It's pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Four levels. Three cars on each level. Twelve cars. To be honest, how does it work? Let's see. Somehow they need to be lowered. How do they get lowered? I don't know in which order. It's like a Rubik's Cube. You, they can just slide out and... I don't know, maybe maybe they can, but I don't see how. That one from top can, can end up on the bottom without moving other cars, but this is a pretty interesting question. There should be there should be a way of doing this. But I don't know, I'm trying to think like an engineer, but there should be some sort of a genius idea behind it. But maybe they go in there accordingly to you know, like first first in, last out or something like that. I don't know. But this is a pretty interesting question mark. Ladder to top car then zoom. Ah Zoom. Zoom. That building is pretty cool and unique. We're on West Broadway and we're heading north right now. So stride back up. Chambers Street is next. There's a hidden crane. That would take the car, pick it up, and slowly move it down there, maybe. Chamber Street and uh, the red line on one, two, and three trains. Let's see, local time in New York, 627. Jenga building, yep, that one right there. Pretty unique design. Pull that money, impressive. Alma, this is Tribeca, yep. 70, 21 Celsius, still hot enough. The wind is low and the humidity is pretty high. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just hope you are. I actually thought you were. I have to wait forever to cross the street now. It's a little annoying. We're on West Broadway and crossing Chambers.
It's a nice view through here. It's a public area where you can sit down and rest and uh, enjoy the weather. So Reed Street, like Duane Reed, this is Reed Street and Hudson Street, Tribeca Historic District. Not a traffic light. West Broadway is over here and Hudson Street is here. Roy, can you believe it's 91 in San Francisco? Yes. Lucky you. Oklahoma. Oh, wow. That is hot. 81. It is pretty hot. I thought it's warm here. It's hotter everywhere else in the country, almost. Look at that. Remember the times? You don't. We don't. I don't think anyone. Maybe. When uh, the advertisements, advertisements were posted or painted on the walls of the buildings. Everywhere. Not just, you know, here and there. This one is one of those and they saved it for now and how long who knows how long it will be staying for it's almost almost it's very hard to see exactly in details but you can kind of guess what well, the text right there it says brush up business with paint paste paper and push Brush up business with paint, paste, paper, and push. That is um, antique. It's amazing how they kept it here for so many years. That's, that was an ad for, for the company that probably doesn't exist for the past, I don't know, 70, 80, 90 years or so. Amazing. Bro, well, yes, I love those old signs. We well, gotta go. Thank you all for a nice walk. Good night from me here in Norway. Good night, Marit. We will see you next time. Thank you so much for walking with us and watching and enjoying. It's very late in Norway. Good night. The Jenga building. M20 bus here going to South Ferry. It's, I think it starts at Columbus Circle, so it is quite a distance. Very time consuming to get there. 100 people watching us. Hi, hi. Mr. Lom, it's cool finding old signs like that. It's like a time capsule, absolutely. Another one is there, but it's just the name of a company, but it's still there. Whalebone. I don't know if it was a restaurant or it was a company. And it's in pretty good shape. I think it's been even renovated at some point because it's a very good shape. The colors are very good. So we're heading north, and this is West Broadway. Great weather to eat outside, to have a dinner outside. 
this will change soon, very soon. Edwards restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Thomas Street. The tallest point right there in front of us, right there, is the summit tower at Wanderbilt Avenue. It's another another gallery, it looks like. Tribeca community dis on display. Tribeca community on display. See some arts here paintings and there's more there we can see it's a lot of art all over New York City All right, so we are still on West Broadway. This is Worth Street. Where we're gonna be in a moment, we'll see. Another park, and this one is much larger. Same idea, but much, much larger. Look at that one. Oh, wow. Welcome everyone, don't forget your likes and feel free to share, look at this, this one is four levels as well, but much bigger, it's like, like five times larger than the first one we saw right over there. There must be some sort of mechanism, letting cars go downstairs fast otherwise it would not make any sense like if when we get a little closer this is what it looks like Very space can uh, saves a lot of space, though. Very economical. Gloss lab. Uh, that is uh, the nail salon. Fancy. Starbucks. I'm gonna say where are all the Starbucks is? Leonard Street and West Broadway in Tribeca. Oh, a lot of cars. Square diner. It's kind of small, tiny diner. This is Leonard Street in Tribeca. Not too many people out here. 
Hey Steve, the next one. Hi Steve. Hi L, are you anywhere near the old hospital that has a connecting bridge to each building? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, this one is a very old fashioned one. It's also very, you know, it's like one level. It's called Square Diner, and if you look at it, it is the classic diner. But a lot of people there. It's getting darker, it's almost completely dark, and the uh, wind is picking up. Good to see you, Steve TNX1. Good evening. This is Franklin Street Station 1 train downtown platform. Uptown will be right there across the street. And this is very extreme. So this, the name, this name, street names, streets change names. It's the same street, different names. And weird intersections too. And this one, it's kind of like two streets in one. And that's a different angle for the Jenga building. OT, thanks. Hey, what's up? If you want to buy a townhouse, 9.7 million, four bedrooms, four full bathrooms. Cute. 53 Jane Street, townhouse. 9750, 9,750,000. And this is just the price. Forget fees, maintenance, taxes, bills it is gorgeous though but you know this one is 12 feet 13th street four bedroom four full bathrooms one half 12 million dollars in case if you're looking for a for, for, a, for an apartment for a unit in new york four bedroom for bathrooms 12 million, 17 million. This one is only 2 million. Two bedrooms, two full bathrooms. $2 million. Mercer House, 250 Mercer Street. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. I guess. It's a little bit, a little bit over the budget. North Moore Street. We're still in Tribeca. Tribeca Triangle below Canal Street. Still considered to be lower Manhattan, below Canal Street. And that's a lot of residential areas, but not so many people outside at all.
looking up and over and Heron Bridge turn would be over here it's close I think we're slowly approaching Canal Street at some point we will I'm currently the only mod at the moment, I think. Thank you so much for being here. You know, if it's not too late for you, thank you so much everyone for watching our walks. I know it's late here and it's even super late across the pond. Thank you so much for watching us from all over the world. Thank you for spending your precious personal time. So if you're driving, Canal Street East and downtown. Interesting area. Definitely not super pleasant for walking around unless you have to. But not too bad. Just nothing super exciting happening here. We still see Hudson Yards right there. Northbound. Let's make a right turn. I really appreciate appreciate you too, L. As always, thank you, thank you. St. John's Lane. Interesting, interesting names. And this is Late Street, L A I G H T, Late Street. It's a jungle building from this corner, from this angle. And wow, glad to see the prices of real estate going down in New York City. Yay! Almost affordable. Canal Street Station, A, C, and E. We are on Canal Street. This one is blocking the whole freaking space for people to walk and doesn't care. We're on Canal Street, believe it or not. Wow, we made it all the way to Canal Street. Black burger, awesome burger joint, burgers, fries, and shakes. This is West Broadway and Canal Street. It's dark in New York City. Amber is probably a new driver. I think I know what you mean, but I think unfortunately most of them don't care much. I don't know why. But you, you, you have a point. A lot of new drivers around here. 
Oh, look at that. Someone, yeah, gotta give. Someone used to let others go. It's not like to. Nah, something needs to be done about it. Come on, people. You're you're adults. You're adults. Let's just deal. With oh, did you see that? Wow. This truck was trying to squeeze between the two cars going at 90 degrees angle. Seriously, right there, that one right there. Whoa. And now he's yelling at someone too. Oh boy. And then he didn't care about red lights, he just moved. Did you see that? Why did she? Uh, he almost, he almost became a sandwich between the two cars. I mean, the cars didn't move fast, but they, he would damage them both, and he would damage his own truck. Why? What's the point? Oh, that's a nice coffee shop as well. Remember that one? Pretty busy. This area is a little bit, uh, I don't want to say sketchy, but you should be careful here. The Worcester Street? About to cross. Church Street on our side of the street and Green Street on the opposite side. Same exact street, two different names. It's a post office right here at the corner, one of the post offices. Molly, the world moves so nicely. That's what's going on in London. 14 Celsius. A little windy and humidity is pretty high. A little colder than here. A lot of guys selling a lot of stuff around here on the streets. I mean bags and you know all kinds of stuff. Well, of course. Oh man, these guys are smoking so much. I'm standing here for two minutes and I have to look at it. Whew. Come on, traffic light. Another idiot. I'm not going to even filter myself that one right there on the bicycle. Look, look, seriously, I'm not advocating for anything, but see this here, it's a memorial. It's a memorial for someone who got killed riding a bicycle. And uh, it's crazy how they do it. They don't see the traffic lights, they don't respect the pedestrians, they try to get ahead of the cars, they just, I don't know. They're more dangerous than the cars. Because they're fast and they can fly out of nowhere. Mercer Street. 
is about to be crossed. Cobblestone portion of Mercer Street. We're approaching Broadway. And that's uh, another subway. This is N, Q, R, N, W lines. A lot of trade is going on here. Okay, what's the place? See, all kinds of brand names that you wish you can buy here. Quote unquote brand names. We're on Canal Street, and this is kind of Chinatown area. Like, but I'm like... Not exactly, but very close by. This is Broadway, northbound, even though it's one-way street, southbound, but we're looking north way, northbound toward Union Square, which we cannot see from here as well. But it's in that direction, and uh, further downtown is over there. It's kind of where we came from. App. Bank of America. And wow, I didn't even know how much trade is going on here. Like pretty much everywhere. They don't like when they caught on camera, so I'm walking fast through that area so they don't feel that, you know, someone is filming them. Welcome everyone. We are on Canal Street. Seven here, okay, 657. Pretty nice view of Canal Street, intersection with Lafayette Street. And I think this is where we're going to end our walk today, two hours and 25 minutes. Thank you so much as always for enjoying our walks with us and keeping us a company. We thank you so much for your support, for your donations, for your subscriptions, for your memberships, for your contributions, for your good words, for your comments, for your likes, for sharing the links anywhere in your social media and for letting people know about our channel. We want to wish you, wow, what a nice car. We want to wish you a fantastic end of the day or good night or the beginning of the new day, depending on where you're watching us from in the world. And thank you so, so much for your time. Um, soon, hopefully sooner rather than later, we will be celebrating 20,000 subscribers. We only have a couple of hundred left. But it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And every day we gain more and more subscribers based on what we do and based on how much people like what we do. So Delilah and I will thank you so much for your support of all kinds and sorts.
Thank you, our mods. Thank you. And why? Ambrose Ori. Thank you so much for staying late. Noble Sweetness, our mods are great mods, helping our chat to be an even better place. And don't forget your likes if you forget. And if you did, give us a like. Thank you so, so much. Migdali Bias, thank you and good night. Karina, hugs. Mods and friends. Ori, thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you so much, Ori. I mean, Haldi, hi, I mean, Molly, I think that's good. Joyce, good night. LT, good night. Julio Armando, Karina, NY, everyone, everyone who said hi in chat and everybody else who just watched our stream without chatting, which is also fine. But we want to mention each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching, for enjoying. And if you subscribed, you will get notifications. If you're not subscribed yet, before you go, hit the subscribe button and choose all notifications. This way you will never miss our streams and videos again. I want to wish you good night. And we will see you sooner rather than later. And why? Thank you for watching, everyone. It's been fun. Until next time, this has been a live stream by Live Walking NYC. We will see you soon. Good night.